The Difference Between Electrons and Charge by kscience.com What is the difference between an electron and charge? This is the key question we're going to be focusing on in this video. Here is a diagram of a cell connected to a metal wire. Here is a close-up of the metal wire showing the giant metallic lattice structure. The red circles with crosses represent the positive metal cations. We're going to see how the electrons flow through the metal to understand what is the difference between an electron and charge. So in an electrical circuit, the cell pushes the electrons out of the negative terminal. These tiny negatively charged electrons flow through the metal. And here in the close up, I've shown how there are more electrons to represent how there are billions and billions of electrons flowing at any one point in a metal wire. These electrons continue to flow. They flow back to the positive terminal of the cell where the cycle continues again. Now it must be understood that these electrons are tiny. Each electron has a mass of 1 over 1836. Their mass is so small, we consider their mass to be negligible. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Because their mass is so small, there are a lot of electrons flowing at any one point. And I mean a lot of electrons. There are billions and billions of electrons flowing. This makes it difficult to quantify how many electrons are flowing at any one point. And this is a problem as scientists need to know how many electrons are flowing at one point. So to solve this problem and to quantify this large number of electrons, we use charge. Charge is what we use to describe a very large number of electrons. That's all it is. The symbol of charge is a capital Q. The unit of charge is Coulomb and the symbol of a Coulomb is a capital C. So one Coulomb is equal to 6.24 times 10 to the power of 18 electrons. That is a very large number. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Six point two four times ten to the power of eighteen is a very large number. It looks like this. Too big for me to say. There are this many electrons in one coulomb. So you can see why we need to use charge to be able to quantify how many electrons are flowing at any one given point. So two coulombs is double the number of one coulomb. Two coulombs is equal to 1.25 times 10 to the power of 19 electrons. The higher the unit of charge, i.e. coulomb, the more electrons there are. So to summarize, an electron is a subatomic particle found in the shells of an atom. We know it is negatively charged and has a very small mass. Whereas charge is what we use to describe a very large number of electrons. The unit of charge is a coulomb. So when we say current is the flow of charge, what we're really saying is current is the flow of a very large number of electrons. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com 
for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at ksigns.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.